Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you some exercises for the lower legs. The part which is below the knees. The front of the leg is called the shin. The back is called the calf. So I'm going to show you two exercises for the shins and two exercises for the calf. Uh, these exercises are required to keep us away from the ankle pains and uh, runners who feel pain in the lower legs can easily do these exercises. But make sure if you do the front of the leg, you try and do the back of the leg also. Yes, depending upon where the pain is or which part is weaker, you may choose to do that part more. Right? So let's get started. Okay. So our first exercise is a very simple exercise called calf raises. All you need to do is stand legs with hip width apart and you exhale and go up. All you need to do is go up on your toes, take your heels off the floor as high as you can. People who are very comfortable doing this can even keep their uh, feet on some elevated surface like a staircase or a step stool where your heels are hanging off the staircase of the surface and the ball of your toes till the mid part is on that surface. So you can do that. This is the simplest one. You can, now your calf needs more strength, more weight. So you can go up to 20 to 30 repetitions for the calf. Uh, I like to do it on the staircase. I do 20 on one, then I climb up on the other and I do the balance 20. When I do it on the staircase and when uh, uh, my heels are off the staircase, that gives me an advantage of stretching the calf at the same time. Where my heels go slightly below the surface of the, you know, where the staircase is and then I go up. So I'm strengthening and stretching at the same time, the impact is much more. So you can try that as well. So this you will do about 20 of these. Then, okay, so how's the breathing? Inhale, I come down. Exhale, I go up. I go up and I focus on my calf. I squeeze my calf. In fact, when I go up, I can even hold for a second to concentrate on the calf and contract them. So the more, the more you think about the calf, the better you will activate your muscles. So this is called the mind and body connection, right? So once you finish 20 of these, you can immediately do the shin. Either you can do this way or you can finish two calf exercises first and then move to the two shins exercises. So this was for the calf, you know, for that thickness of the calf, which you get, you get from this exercise. Now the next one is for the shin. I will just walk on my heels. So I keep my toes above. Uh, I, I keep uh, turning my toes to my nose and I just walk on the heel. I am doing on this mat. If you're wearing shoes, you can do it anywhere because I am training barefoot. So this mat gives me some support, some cushioning for the heel, for the bone. So you can do this either you walk laterally or you can also walk this way. It's up to you. The idea is to keep the toes to your nose, keep your knees straight. Don't bend your legs when you're walking. Just keep your legs straight, see. This way, you keep your legs straight and whether you are turning, whether you're moving forward, back, lateral, do not bring the toes down until you have taken about 100 steps. So how do you count 100? I like to do it about, I like to do about 150 to 200. So I would count like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, like that I count. So one number for one leg. So alternate and you can do about, the idea is to get the burn in the shins, the part which is in front of the leg, there. That's where you get the burn. Then you also get the burn right above the ankle. So that's where you need to see. 
Uh, as you continue doing, you will come to know when it starts burning. After that, you, you can do about 20 to 30 steps more and then you can end it. So this is for the shin, a brilliant exercise for the runners. In fact, a must. People who run uh, do get shin pains, etc. So this is the exercise for them. So you finish about your 100, 120, 150, uh, as per your level, right? So this was for the shin. Now, now our third exercise is for the calf, for the muscles, uh, muscle, which is actually the thinner one, and for this part, the thinner muscle. So when you do the standing calf, you do for the thickness of the calf, and when you do the seated calf, or this bent over calf race, which I'm going to show you, that is for the thinner part. The soleus it's called. Soleus is the calf muscle, right? So you take a big step back like this, get into a lunging position. Uh, all your weight should be right now on the front heel. You, your heel, the back heel is completely off the mat. The front leg is bent and you put all your weight on the front leg. So see how I'm bending. I'm not sinking down. I'm not bending this back leg. The back leg has to be straight. The heel has to be completely off and all my weight has to be on the front leg. This is how you uh, bring in weight to, uh, to an exercise. Now, your knee has to be above the ankle. If I feel it is crossing, I'm just putting, pushing my back leg behind you a little bit more. And now, in this position, one. Now, you have to watch this carefully. It is only the front heel which is going up. My back leg must not go up and down like this. See, don't do this. It's only the front leg which has to go. So you can again do how many ever you are able to do. 10, 12, 15 or 20. I like to do about 20. So high repetition is for endurance. And first, everyone needs endurance. You need that movement in your muscles first before you move up for the heavy weights, etc. So, right, so like this, you will do 20 and you have to do on both the legs. So, make sure the heel is completely off. See, if your heel is down like this, the weight shifts back, a little bit of your weight shifts back to the back leg. We want all the maximum weight on the front leg. Now, suppose you find this position tough. You can hold on to something initially for the balance or you can go back a little bit where the weight on the front leg becomes lighter. So this way you will do 20. This is called bent over calf raises. Now for the next exercise, we would need a chair or a bench, something on which you can sit on. So let me just quickly get a chair. Okay, so here I have a chair. So I, I just sit on this chair. I don't lean back. I sit forward on the chair. And now the leg position, ankle below the knee. Please do not keep your legs inside or too much outside. So ankle below the knee. This is the first step. You may choose a comfortable distance between your legs. I like this distance. Then you keep your posture right. Stay upright. Okay, right, and then all you just need to do is a toe tap like this. So what am I doing? My heels are not coming off the uh, mat. It's only my toes which are going up and down. So you do faster. Do as, take your uh, toes as high as you can. Keep pulling your belly in so that your posture also stays right. And you continue doing this. You do this for same about 100 to 120 to 130 as much as you can and how much you like it. You have to do about 20 to 30 more after you start getting a burn here. So this is where you will feel the burn. Please do not stop in between. Continue doing until you feel the burn. So much so when I finish this exercise, I just feel like stretching my shins immediately. So I'll quickly show you that also. And maybe in the next video, I am going to show you uh, some basic stretches which will cover all the muscles which we have done in last few videos because whenever we do a strengthening exercise, we must stretch those muscles as well. 
So let's say I've finished my thing and I'm actually, it's already burning. So I will just hold on to a wall. I curl my toe and I put all my weight on the back leg and push this down so that I just feel a stretch here. See, either you can do that or you just hold it and turn your toe towards your, nose, towards your hip like this. So you keep pulling it so that you just feel a stretch and that feels good after this exercise. Right? So these were our four exercises. Two for the calf, two for the shins. If you saw, I showed uh, one exercise for the calf and one for the shin standing and the other one was bent over or seated. So that gives a balance to the uh, muscle strength of the front and the back. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to press this like button. And if you like my videos, then do not forget to subscribe to the video with the post notifications on. And I shall see you soon with another such video. Until then, take good care. Bye-bye.